Go ahead. What if you just chomped my head off right there? Yeah. And then threw the rest of me in the hole. It turns into like an Odyssey thing where uh, Polyphemus just grabs the guy and just chews him in half. <laughs> Get the flute. Play the song. Put him to sleep. Where? Well, was oh, there. It a flute? Um. Or was it a loot? No, I think they. Was it? I thought they just waited for him to fall asleep and then they, uh. They all got under, um, like tied themselves under his sheep. I could have sworn they put him to sleep. Maybe. I don't remember. Come on, you can trust the, the guy that's three times your size and has mushrooms growing on his back? I thought, like, someone put him to sleep and then everyone was sneaking away and he woke up and killed the guy that put him to sleep or something like that. Oh, well, but maybe that was one of them. I, I remember... Oh, okay, I do remember. They they were all... Um, they did tie themselves oh. to the bottom of sheep, but before that, that was when uh, Odysseus went to the uh, the Cyclops, and he's like... He Before that, he said his name was Nobody, and the Cyclops thought that, that that was his name. His name's Nobody. And then later, when he fell asleep, they drove, uh, uh, like, they sharpened the edge of a tree branch or a, a tree trunk and drove it into his eye. Yeah. So I think while he was blinded, they tied themselves under the sheep because so, they knew he was going to feel for them. Ooh. And uh, he would feel the sheep and think, and, and, you know, since it's his sheep, he wasn't going to do anything to them. Yeah. I remember that because the... the other cyclopes, 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 <laughs> they uh, ask him, you know, what's the matter? Who did this to you? Nobody! Nobody did this to me! Uh, uh, what's your, what's yeah. your fucking problem? <laughs> we got stuff to do! A very modern <laughs> odyssey. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We're missing Game of Thrones because of you! <laughs> Alright, is he gonna catch us? Um... um no, oh, brother! <laughs> no! That was the Odyssey. Yeah. Which might have not been written by Homer. In fact, some people say it might have been a woman. Ah, brother! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> God, hold on. Hold on to the branches. Wasn't that story told over several years? Um... No, the Odyssey. You're you're probably thinking of. No, I think no. I believe all of that was written, not at the time it happened. So so I guess there may have been variations of the story told, and then Homer or whoever wrote it finally. But, um. The, the both stories were like most ancient stories. They were written. To be told orally. Yeah. So that's why if you ever read the Odyssey or especially the Iliad, they repeat themselves again and again and again. <laughs> it, there's a lot of repetition in that that book. And it was yeah, that was done so it could be told orally. You ever think about like a uh, fairy tales or uh, nursery rhymes, how a lot of it is just repetition? Yeah. Kind of that same idea. Gotcha. It's easier to remember if if a lot of it is just repeated yeah. again and again and again. I love the Iliad, but at the same time, no, brother, <laughs> get up there! Damn it! Um, there you go, little spider boy. Hey. This summer, two brothers are gonna kick it into high gear. Oh, help. Oh, you don't need help. The moon is crashing into the earth, and old women are attacking old gladiators. I cannot remember all of it, but Jesus, did that go off the rails? I think that whole thing was ad libbed, huh? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I believe. It had I to be. be wrong, there, was, but... there was no way that whole thing was scripted. Oh, God. Ah, it's just shoving me. He's a nice old giant. Yeah. Whoa! Ah! Why did we have to go up to come down? We had to find the hole.
We were really high. Now we're coming down. <laughs> as down as down can be. Oh, oh, brother, brother, brother! Oh, yeah, ah! oh, yeah. Oh, ah! wait, wait. Oh. Hey, little shit. I can't because of my trauma. It's scary looking how deep that is. Yeah, it doesn't look that deep, actually. It looks very deep. Oh, looks kind of pleasant to me. Uh, all right. There, insert yourselves into that hole. Thanks. Th thank you. Thanks. A tiny little dank, creepy blue hole in the side of a wall in a cave. I, I don't know. I kind of get a bad feeling from this guy. I don't trust him. He seemed nice at first, but this this seems a little iffy, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, this place doesn't seem as nice as the place we were in before. Yeah, you do your squeezy thing. I feel like I could fit in there just as easily. Yeah. Kind of like our mom, you're just not really trying very hard. <laughs> exactly. Runs in the family. I don't know, this boy, well, yeah, I guess he didn't really save his mom, but... Come sit with me. I can't. Come but... sit with me, brother. You got it, bro! Oh, can you, there you go. Aw, oh, that's nice. Look at the engineering in this place. Yeah. Who do you think built it? Uh, George. George. Macintosh. George Macintosh. Well, George Macintosh, you really outdid yourself. Yeah, you did. You know what? To George Macintosh. Yeah, we can't high five or anything. But no, yeah. no, we can't. Well, I think I'm going to have myself a little nap. Only thing to do after such a nice toast, really. <laughs> <laughs> If I, if I had That's face beautiful. cam, you'd have seen me fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could fall asleep that quickly. I know, that was, right? That's got to command. But I feel like with uh, Sigvard, it's like what you see is what you get with that guy. He is a very just... A very simple soul. Genuine undead. Yeah. Slash unkindled. Yeah. Can you imagine if the, uh, the... Stop it! Brother! Stop it! Stop it! Ah! I'm gonna get you! <laughs> Alright, that was creepy. Um... <laughs> can you imagine if the zombies in The Walking Dead were like... Can I control little brother? No. If the zombies in The Walking Dead were like Sigvard? That'd be a great world, man. I wouldn't even run from them anymore. What do you mean? Like, if the zombies were like Sigurd. Yeah, they're like, um, just high-spirited and not out to hurt anybody, except, you know, evildoers. Oh, yeah, Sigurd is a much more pleasant kind of undead. Yeah. Pleasant to be around, pleasant to talk to. Like, they'll, they'll come across a zombie, and they kind of cautiously approach him, but they, then they hear, like, hmm. Hmm? Oh, pardon me. I'm in a bit of a pickle. They yeah. all get the accent and the voice. <laughs> yeah, they, they all sound the same. I guess that'd grow old after a while. I have a stick. But you know what? I'd love The Walking Dead if they did that. Because at this point, that show is that show is just shit. I'm gonna I just come, I'm gonna watch it so long. I'm gonna just come right out and say it. That show is just absolute shit. I don't think we can yeah, go this no, way. We can't. Unless you can finagle it around that corner. <laughs> nah. We gotta go the long way, of course. I mean, that's the point of the puzzle. Um. You gotta make your brain go... Zap. Thank you. Thank you for your contribution. That's neurons, by the way. Yeah. So anyway, uh, the, yeah, the Walking <laughs> Dead. Uh... Actually, the the new season. You know what I noticed right. about the new season? What? Not a single animal has died. Oh, nice! And they've introduced birds, CGI cartoonish birds, albeit, but still birds. They've introduced birds. I've seen horses. Uh, I think there were cats and dogs. 
Not a single one died. So I, I, as I was watching it, I was like, are the writers okay? Oh, hey, apparently the zombies can communicate with each other now in this newest season. Can they? Yeah. I don't know exactly, like, the extent of it, but that's what I've heard. I wonder if... But they can communicate. I wonder if it's just, like, a a, a group of, you know, bandits or whatever, or, or just a, um... Oh, wait, this one. You know, a group of bad guys. There's always got to be bad guys. Um... That just kind of dressed themselves as zombies. Like they just uh, embraced the zombie world. Yeah. I I can't say I approve of the idea, but at least it's... I don't Survival. Know, it's interesting. I'm just sort of done with the whole bad guy thing and uh, the walking dead. I want to get back to the, the zombie aspect, the survival aspect. Yeah, I know what you mean. Like enough already. We have bigger problems. The world ended, god damn um, it. Turn, wait, no, hold on to it. We gotta try and turn it to the left. Yeah. Alright, oh wait, there we go. What does this do? Oh, look at that, a bridge. Now, if we pull this back... Let's see, just back up. Alright, there you go. Now, back up. Ah. <sighs> We've talked about this before. Um, I may have meant, possibly mentioned it in one of our previous videos, but um, explaining the whole my uh, sarcasm earlier. I don't th have you noticed just in the few seasons you've seen of The Walking Dead, they kill off animals every chance they fucking get in that show. Uh, every much. chance. If there's a pig, a uh, cow, dogs, cats, uh, birds, uh, did I say cow already? A horse? It's all just shock value. But it's all the time. They, they, they cannot have animals in that show. If they introduce an animal, it is guaranteed it will die. If not in that episode, then shortly after its introduction. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. And you know what? You know that tiger that uh, Ezekiel had that I told you about? Yeah. Died. Got oh. eaten by zombies. And oh, it's like, did it? Oh, yeah. I it's thought like, it got away. Not, not content to, um, no longer content to just kill off regular animals. They had to go exotic, an already endangered species, and they killed off the tiger. Probably because it was too expensive to, uh, to computerize it. See, that that's that's their answer for everything. Just kill it. Just kill it. We can't do this anymore, so just kill it. Don't let it run off and maybe come back later. Just kill yeah, it. That would have been an interesting plot thing. Yeah. Hell, it might have worked as a, a Deus Ex later. You know, nice Deus Ex mocking if they really needed it. Just a trump card, but nope. Kill it. Can I grab a fish? You can try. I guess. I don't know. So I'm sorry if I sounded bitter there, but it's like, for God's sake, people, can one animal, just one, make it through? God, you worthless pieces of garbage. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. We're getting fired up from that. Bunch of fucking cunts. I never put much emphasis on any of that. In TV shows or video games. Oh, another bench. But even from a just from a writing aspect, just the whole animal cruelty thing aside, just from a writing point of view, that is such. It's so lazy. So when when you see it and know what's gonna happen to it, that's when you know it's it is freaking lazy. Oh look, I just I just noticed the the giants. Yeah. Yeah. We dig, 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 dig. Hi ho! I wish I, I don't know the whole all the words of that one. Yeah, Just, me neither. We dig the whole day through. We dig, 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 diggity, dig, something like that. I haven't seen that movie in so long. I have no idea. In the mine, in the mine, in the mine, in the mine, in the mine. 